everyone, it's Autumn, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about distinguishing the difference between fantasy and reality. So recently, when I've not been making videos, doing schoolwork, uh, doing digital art, working part-time, I've been watching Doctor Who on Netflix. Um, Doctor Who, uh, the reboot that started in 2005. I'm probably going to go back and watch the old stuff once I finish with the new stuff. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. It's great. And I wanted to bring this up because it's okay to, uh, indulge in fantasy and to keep your imagination healthy and alive throughout adulthood and, um, especially when you're around kids to be able to keep that dream alive, the spark alive of, you know, just storytelling and you know, make believe and magic and wonder in the world and the thing is is that you know people might say oh you know the real magic and wonder is the real world you know with biology and astronomy and chemistry and all this stuff that we can do in the history of the human race what we've done where we've come from all these different people speaking all these different languages saying all these different things it's wonderful and amazing just right here on earth and like well yeah I find that amazing and wonderful too, but the creative things that people think up are also wonderful and amazing, even if they aren't real. They're fun and they're entertaining, but it is important to know when things are in the real world and when it's something someone in the real world made up. And as a skeptic, I think I have a good perception on this. What I know is uh, f basically fact from fiction in, uh, you know, being able to distinguish just general ideas. Um, but then again, on the other hand, there are some skeptics or atheists who don't believe in gods or God, yet they will still believe in fairies and unicorn and witches and wizards and vampires and werewolves and all these other things that uh, I would discount as uh, fairy tales but would still like to enjoy as simply that, a fairy tale that's fun to read. I think it's a healthy balance between the two and being able to uh, live in the real world and understand what's real and yet being able to let your mind drift and go to the imaginary world the world of creativity and wonder and art and literature and film it's all great but knowing that one's in here and here and what else is all around us thanks for watching everybody um I'll see you in the next video. Let me know if you like this one, if you, what sort of topics you want to hear me talk about more, what you want me to talk about less. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you want to see more. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> I got some awesome Doctor Who socks, including the ones I'm wearing. Oops. Let's do this. Yeah.